Happy Sunday everyone, it's Angela and very warm welcome to you on this lovely Sunday morning. I am feeling inspired today, it must be the feeling of spring in my bones, so I hope that you're going to feel inspired to craft along with me today. Now, I had a little request in my Facebook group, um, uh, Aileen uh, showed me uh, a little packet, paper bag that she had which was 15 and three quarter inches long and about four inches wide. And she asked me if I had any ideas of what we could do with it. Um, now, I don't have any bags like that, Aileen, as I said, but it didn't stop me mocking one up and um, doing something with it for you. So I hope that you're going to feel inspired with what I have to share with you today. Right, now, I think it must have been like a sub bag or... Um, didn't have any branding on it or anything but you know something where you'd have a baguette or something fairly long in it and I just thought oh well um, I don't have any of those but what I do have is brown paper standard brown paper that you will either cover books with or post parcels in so that's what I grabbed so what I did was I've got it here um, I cut out a piece that was 15 and three quarter length inches in length all right so i've done that and i was just going to make up my own bag so what i did was i measured uh just over eight inches wide um for this and then i just turned it over mine's got a bit of a shinier side so i put that on the inside and then what i've done is i've sort of just brought this over um I've turned this over just about just short of two inches and then it's, you don't need to be fussy with that and then I've turned it over just to lap it over on the edges there like that right so that's the first thing um just to make a bag if you don't have one obviously if you've got a bag that length or there or thereabouts great go and use them and I think it would be something like a French stick or a, bag, a baguette that would be that long because I couldn't find anything close in my stash here and I have quite a few right so I'm going to just put a little bit of glue there I'm going to run my finger over there that's going to get this to lie pretty flat you know just flatten your sides like that okay so there you've got like a long tube and that should be about the length that we said 15 and three quarter inches now what i'm going to get you to do now is is to fold the bag directly in half now i'm not using this particular one it was just so that i could show you how i did it so excuse the uneven edge there okay so you want to just fold this meet the top ends here get it directly in half and then just uh i've got the two bits like this now all right and then what i did was i measured one two three five and a half inches from the top i've got a little pencil mark there so this is uh two and a half inches from the top i'm going to draw a little line so um yeah, two, it's about two and a half inches. doesn't need to be exact, you know. We're just having a play here. And then I want you just to cut that piece off. Right, now I would suggest if you do have a bag, do it on the side where you have the, the base of the bag where it's sealed. All right, so that's what I would suggest, Aileen, if you're doing this with your actual bags. Okay, that way you've still got that as a sealed side. If you don't have that as a sealed side, and now I'm going to just trim this off, all right? So if you're doing it like I am, then go and take one of the sides and just put some glue on the edge there just to seal it, all right? So you're going to use it as that sealed piece that you've just cut off. All right, so you've got yourself now a little sealed piece, which is going to become a little pocket. And you've got a pocket over here now, which you've cut off. And you already had the opening at the top, which could also be a pocket. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, stick that there. That's not the end of the story. That's just the first bits. I'll tell you what's going to happen <laughs> once I've done that lot. All right. So that's what we're going to do. That's how you're going to make your bag. And that's how you're going to put it all uh, together for this structure. Um, and then we're going to cover it and do some things. I've got some 
different ways of doing things today. So I hope you're feeling excited. All right, let me grab those things and I'll see you back. So here's mine. I've inked around all these little edges here, as you can see. Um, and as I said, we've got it sealed on the base. I didn't ink that edge too well. So I don't think I did ink it. I'm um, just putting a little bit of distress ink. That's personal choice. Grab your glue, your bone folder. Um, and we are going to now put this all together. All right, so I'm going to start at the back here on that piece there. Now, um, I've taken, I've tried to stick some bits down just so that it limits the length of the video. And I know you know how to glue a piece of lace on paper, so I'm not worried about that. I've taken a piece of paper. I have measured it to fit up until the fold line there, yeah, without going into that fold line too much. And that is the bit I'm going to stick down here. So we've got a piece of um, lace on the top there. So I'm going to stick that down. Then I've got a piece of, this is just my cream background lace paper. I use it for everything, especially when it comes to secret writing spots. And that's what this is going to be. So on the back of this piece of paper, I'm going to stick that down. All right. So that's what we're going to do there. Let me do that and we'll carry on. All right. So I've stuck that down there. Um, and I've stuck that there and I'm not putting anything on there. Um, maybe I might put something on there, but this is going to be a little secret spot. So you're not going to see it when it's upright anyway, but you never know. I might put a little die cut or some decoration on there. Right now on the front, I have cut out a piece of one of my background pages from my uh, Book Lovers Bliss kit. I've just stuck on a little piece of rickrack there and put on these three die cuts. Okay, now you'll see there's um, not much going on there because the pocket's gonna be covering that section. So I've got it quite further up. All right, so I'm gonna stick that onto this bit over here. So let's do that. Right, so I hope your Sunday's going well. I'm here all alone at the moment, which is great. So I can record my video. I had my son here very early this morning. He was um, working on his motorbike in my garage um, and doing stuff there. And he's gone off on a bike ride, which has um, <laughs> left me feeling a bit worried. Um, and the reason is, is because about two years ago, he had a bad motorbike accident where he was hit by a 10 ton truck um full on um and he was lucky to be alive so it put him off riding motorbikes it wasn't his fault either which is very it's just quite a um bad situation that drivers aren't aware of um motorcyclists and it was a case of the driver of the truck was on his mobile phone and not paying attention and yeah terrible situation but um my son has now gone on, <laughs> on a new motorbike now today um for the first time and it's i'm keeping busy focused on this and my daughter's working she's just started working so you know little student job so yeah free house today um, yeah, I don't know if you guys have children that uh, give you grey hairs with the activities they do more than anything else. You know, boys are daring, aren't they? Um, and my son is into all sorts of extreme sports. Um, so, yeah, it does make me feel a bit rattled at times. He definitely gives me white hair. Thank goodness for uh, hair dye. Eh? Yeah. All right, I'm going to stick a little bit of music paper here. And you saw me stick down the little pocket on top of this. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about other stuff. So I've just got a little scrappy bit and I'm a big fan of scrappy bits, as you know. Um, needed a bit of neutral bit uh, going on here because there's a lot of brightness which is quite bright for me, but I must say I am loving it. There is no friend as loyal as a book. Ernest Hemingway. True words, true words. 
Right, I've got that little sentiment there. Um, I cut out one of these from one of my little um, mini pages. Uh, I think this was the one by uh, at the bookshop uh, around the frame. So I've cut that out and I'm just seeing now where exactly I want this. So I think I'm going to get it a little bit further up so that I can put that over there. And I thought that looks sweet. So, yeah, I do love fussy cutting everything out. <laughs> it's a way you make the most of, of everything in your kit, you know, just use it in different ways. And I am a fan of that, as you know. Right. Um, I've also been using some of the little scraps that I showed you. And I'm going to use one of them shortly. I just want to get this down here. There we go. So this is what I did with some of the little flowers that I've cut out. And as I showed you at the time, you can use a punch, you can use your die cuts. I think this was a die cut from this floral spring wreath, uh, a Sizzix one I used long ago when I was doing the Baking Bliss journal. Um, so I've just put three of the little scrappy flowers I cut out there on top of each other. And I'm going to just add it over there. I thought it just finished it off and then I might find a little pearl just to go on the top there okay and then if I just open my drawer and grab my tweezers I can just take one of these little pearls and these little pearls I got from Amazon and guys if you ever wanting to know because I still get lots of questions about where I got this and where I got that go and take a look on the um, Amazon favorite tools list and you'll find just about everything on there because where I live there are there's one hobby craft shop and I've been in there twice and I usually walk out with nothing because it's very general and nothing I actually use except for card. And um, that's about all I've ever bought there. So I get everything from online and mostly 99% Amazon. They're pretty good with prices. Right, we have now decorated that section up. So we've got this bit um, with a little pocket. We've got this bit with a pocket. We've got a pocket over here. Yeah, and then we've got this which we haven't stuck down now you can stick it down and, and that would be another way to use this but what I thought was I was going to you know make it a little bit more exciting and I'm not going to use the velcro <laughs> the velcro dots today I thought no right so what I did was I took a piece of paper so this was paper from the vintage um collage pages that I, I liked and there's a couple that work so well with this so I've cut a piece it's five inches by one and a quarter inches wide all right two pieces and I have just folded it in half like this you want to take your glue now I'm just grabbing what I have here so you want to just glue that down like that do your distress thing yeah I'm not going to do it too much because this is not what I'm going to use. Then I took my corner punch, which is not a great one, I might add. Use your Tim Holtz uh, Distress Ink container just to round off those corners there. Okay, so there we have one, two. You want two of these. Right, so that one's good to go. Then what I did was, and you can see I've done them here. I've taken two of those little scrappy circles I was cutting out and I've, I've punched these with eyelets. Now, if you don't have eyelets, you can just use a paper punch and this will act as a ring reinforcer. Okay, so that's what I've done there. I've got two of those, so we can put that one aside. Now, I want to lie them on top here. I need to find the middle bit here. So we are looking at about there. And about there, there are thereabouts, yeah. And then I'm going to just take my um, pencil and I'm just making some little marks over there. And then I'm going to just take my bone folder 
like this and we are going to just make some little score lines sorry <laughs> trying to focus right so there we go we've got that there right now we can just fold that over on the score line is that it yeah i think so that should be about the same size they are yeah good okay so what i want to do now is i want to stick these um not behind this one i want to stick it behind this one okay so i'm going to move it down just i think just below that there i'm going to take my little clip and then i'm going to do the same over here so just get your little ruler and line them up i think that's right like that and i just want another little clip not that i'm going to take the clip off this is just for me to draw on the back okay so we've got those two wrapped around there now they're going to hold this flap up when we stick it into our box right now i'm just going to turn that around drawing with my pencil just where these need to go because you need to glue them down at the back only so let's start with this one get the glue onto that bit there now we've got our little lines to see where it needs to go so that's there yeah and then push that back on and then the same with this one I did have fun making this. I love a challenge, you know. Right, so let's just get that a little bit straighter. There we go. Now I can press it hard. There we go. We've got those there. Those are going to be our little clips. Now I'm going to, I've got some of my ribbon. Um, this is nice and thin. And I'm going to put that in here. Um, and through this one going to make it pretty isn't it and then we're going to make a little bow here so let's do that so you a little bow you don't have to use ribbon if you don't have any you can use you know anything baker's twine twine anything you want okay and then i'm going to just cut that off at an angle so it doesn't fray and there we go let's put that back right so that's going to go there and we i'm going to leave that there just for a sec while i show you what i'm going to make to go in here all right and then we'll assemble it all together okay so what i did was i took two of these little bits from my ephemera pack i've added tabs on the back there all right, so this is the, the sort of soft dotted one and this color. And I've just added some ribbon and I absolutely love the color of this fuchsia ribbon. So I've done that. And as you can imagine, those are going to go into that pocket at the bottom there. All right, so that's that. Then um, what I did was I have got a tab like this. This is one of my large tags and I, I I think I was going to put it into the back there um, and I've just put in this lovely ribbon which I love as well I love the colors and the sheerness of it it's lovely so I've just stitched around that um, and that's from my add-on kit now I need to go and find something which I'll grab quickly just to put into this pocket over here which is no problem but what I wanted to show you is I have taken what um, a postcard um, this is also from my uh, ephemera pack, I think, or my add-on. I can't remember now. I think it's ephemera. Um, God, I'm getting all confused today. And then what I did was I took some of the fabric from that fabric bundle. Um, I've just made a little ruffle here. This one is only two and a half inches long. 
um, and I've just stitched it and I'm going to stick this onto that bit over there. So let's do that. I've got my um, fabric tack ready to go. So I'm just going to stick it on the corner here. I did stitch around this. Uh, it needs to have a little bit longer. There we go. And I was having fun with this earlier. I, I really do. I think I'm going to have a video where I'll just play around with bits of fabric and and make a whole pile of this sort of thing. This is um, a piece of lace. This was gifted to me and I love it. And I've just cut a little bit of it off. I'm going to just angle that slightly off my fabric to go like that onto the postcard. So an altered postcard, I should say. It's like old golden colour, really lovely. I have no idea where the person who bought it for me got it from, but I do love it. Even got little clear sequins on there. Then I've just taken two paper flowers with one of the, the lovely colours, you know, just picks up these lovely bold colours. And I've stitched that on with some embroidery thread onto the paper flowers. And um, I'm going to get that stuck over here okay and that's all i wanted to do with that all right so we've got our little bits of ephemera i'm just going to grab another piece for this middle bit and i'll be back in a sec okay so i've just grabbed these two pieces just to bring in some font and something different from from what i've got here all right so this is also from the ephemera pack and that's going to be what we put into this middle pocket here right before i put any of that in so we just put that all there lots to go in there i'm going to just show you how i'm going to attach this into our book and what we're going to do with it so we've got all of that done i've just taken off those clips um i have got my signature and it's opposite the bookstore I have put it onto the other side of what we did before here, that one, which was lovely. I loved that project. I have stenciled um, here. So I've used the pickled raspberry and for that bit. And this one I've used mulled lavender. All right, so that's what I've got there, um, just to add some more brightness to the day. And then I'm going to stick this down over here so here's the middle over there and i'm going to get it sort of equal distance here and i'm not going to stick the whole thing down just like that um i'm going to grab my double-sided tape and i'm going to show you what i do all right so i've just put a row of double-sided tape at the top and the bottom i want to just um get the backing off here these things always take longer when you try to do them on the, on the, I nearly said the telly. <laughs> you know, in, in reality, it's quicker. Right, so we've got that there. And as you've guessed now, I'm making a belly band with this. So I'm just lining this up nicely like that. And again, just mindful of the top and the bottom. So I think that that's sort of where I want it okay so uh, you can use glue you don't have to use double-sided tape but I, I quite like using double-sided tape for a belly band um right so we've got that there we've got all of that there and we can open this up now and we can pull out the one side you're now able to have your little secret writing spot there you can put in another pocket here to tuck something in if you wanted to as well you could do that um and now you want to just add your bits and pieces so this big tag is going to go into the top here right so that's going to just peek out the top yeah so i think i'm going to put these two in here which is great and then the ones without the, the stuff on i'm going to put into this over here so we've got that like that. Now, you don't have to. I think maybe one's enough. One's might be enough. Which one do I want? Okay, so we'll have that there. 
we've got all of this there this can now go through here and we can tie a nice little bow there we go not great at tying bows on camera I don't know why it is I think I've got a phobia about it oh, that one didn't go too badly not too bad all right so we've got that there and then i've got my little large envelope from my add-on kit i've just closed that up i've printed something on the other side so that it um had double-sided printing but you can just stencil on here or even stamp you know so that i'm going to put in here but this way this way like that and then Oh, I was going to stick it out that way, wasn't I? So let's put it in there and stick it out that way. Where's the edge? There it is. And then I've got this little postcard that we've got this all stuck on, which looks so pretty. And I'm going to put that this side. And it can, it can poke out a little bit. That's also fine. You know, um and go over the edge of your page and be show look it looks like it's a piece stuck on here as well um, and then we can just put this all back together again and there we go that's our little project for today and i enjoyed it so i hope that that gives you a little idea if you feel you want a narrower belly band you can always trim your packet or make your your bag narrower if you're wanting it um however you want it you know it's all up to you but i quite like how this has turned out i really do um and i like this bit of fabrics peeking out on the side here um it's really lovely and then i've got my two little bits peeking out there and a tag over there and you know who's to say there's anything underneath so a perfect little hidey place. All right, everyone, go and enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I need to go and do a little bit of hoovering and tidying up. Um, it's Sunday and I like to give my um, craft room a nice hoover. I'm almost done with um, preparing what I, I wanted to show for sh giving you a video. Um, it's looking quite plain, but, you know, um, things evolve as you are here and, you know, as, as things sort of um progress so <laughs> i hope that you will like it eventually when i get to it will be in the, probably in a week or so all right everyone enough nattering from me i'll see you again on tuesday um i do have the book lovers mini journal coming next week so look out for that one um and have a wonderful week and i'll see you again all soon don't forget about the junk journal tips tricks and hacks all right everyone cheers <laughs>